everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us today as we explore the icy trails and snowy ridges of God's beautiful creation. I'm Indiana from Zarephath Christian Church, and today we're going to have a blast together out here in this winter wonderland. To start, let's play a quick game to try and guess what animal made the tracks in the screen before the answer is revealed. Wow, that was so fun. There are so many different tracks to look for in the snow and each one looks a little different. One thing to keep in mind while looking for tracks in the snow are the rules of the great outdoors. Everywhere we go, you'll see plenty of opportunities to love God by being in awe of all the incredible things he's made. And you'll have the chance to love others by respecting those around you while we're out here enjoying the cold. Speaking of being out in the cold, today we're checking out one of the iciest things around. There's so much fun you could have out here in Sub-Zero. One of the coolest things you could do with ice and snow is to build an igloo. Could you imagine living in a house made out of ice? I personally don't think there'd be enough blankets in the world to keep warm in a house made out of ice. But it certainly would be a cool way to spend time in the great outdoors. And spending time in the middle of God's beautiful creation is a great way to grow our friendship with him. Out here in nature, you don't have to worry about all the distractions you might have at school or at home. And there's so much to discover just by spending time outside, thinking about God and being with him. One thing we can all learn out here in the great outdoors is that we can trust God. Everybody, Say this after me as loud as you can. I can trust God. Great job. One way we can show that we trust God is by singing to him. So let's all stand up and we can worship together. Everyone can worship God in your own way, whether you're singing, dancing, or even just thinking about the words in the song. It's all worship to God. So, if you're comfortable, let's sing. Hey, 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 hey. All my day, hey, 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 hey. 
I read your word Open up my heart I want to worship you When I get quiet And I read your word Open up my heart I want to worship you You're my maker, my father You're my best friend And you love me, you hear me That will never end I'll seek you, I'll find you I'll give you my praise And I will follow you some great singing. Now, go ahead and take your seat because I have a really fun surprise for you. There's someone I want you to meet. This guy is full of knowledge and has had some extreme fun in the outdoors. And today, he's going to tell us all about one of winter's most thrilling ice adventures. Here, check it out. My people, I'm so excited you're hanging with me today. My name's Jack. And today, we're chilling in the chilliest, iciest, cooliest place ever. Zip up your parkas, my friends, because we're at the base of a frozen waterfall. And you're looking at me thinking, Jack, what's the big deal with some frozen water? Well, you know, I'm an extreme kind of guy. So I figured it was about time I introduced you to one of the most dangerous extreme sports you can find out here in the wild during the winter months. My people, meet ice climbing. Ice climbing, meet my people. You heard that right. Real people climbing real ice, just like you see behind me. Pretty cool, huh? As you can tell, this frozen phenomenon is so much more than a few ice cubes in your favorite soda or a snow cone you get at the fair. Here's the deal. There are some thrill-seeking adventurers who will spend hours, even days, with their faces flat against the side of an ice-covered mountain or frozen waterfall. Talk about cool. Check it. These people are climbing their way to the top just so they can get a view of God's creation that's unlike anywhere else in the world. That's some extreme trust. You know what I'm saying? Just think about this for a second. There aren't many winter sports that require more trust than ice climbing. These people have to rely on their gloves to keep their fingers from getting frostbite. And they've also got to trust that an avalanche isn't going to make its way down the mountain out of nowhere. With every swing of their ice tools, these climbers are trusting that the ice is just the right thickness and temperature. Because here's what's crazy. They can't see what's underneath. Get this picture in your head. If it's a thin layer of ice on top of the snow, it can't hold you. And if it's too cold, it could just break off and you're wiping out no question. Climbers have to get this whole trust thing on lock because they can't see where they're digging their feet into either. That's why they wear special shoes that are kind of like cleats and can dig into the ice as they climb. Step by step, those extremists are trusting the spikes to stick into the ice and hold them up as they keep pushing their way to the top of that mountain. I bet I can guess what you're thinking at this point. You're like, but Jack, what happens if they slip? No worries, my friends. The wisest of ice climbers place ice screws in strategic places so they can clip in a rope and harness combo to catch them. And I'm just saying, there's some trust going on there too. When you really break it down, you can see that ice climbing requires a lot of trust. You've got to remember your training and really count on your equipment. But from a first-hand experience, it's most definitely worth it. When you finally reach the top, not only will you be giving yourself a pat on the back for your big deal accomplishment, 
you'll also be having your mind blown as you look out over God's beautiful creation from a place many people can only imagine. So what are we waiting for? Let's get after it. That was really cool. Literally. It must be so cool to see a range of snow-capped mountains from the top of a frozen waterfall. But that would take a lot of trust to conquer an extreme sport like that. Plus, that's some serious trust those people have to put into frozen water. Jack made it sound so easy, too. What do you think got Jack into a place where he trusts so much? Let's find out. What's going on, friends? You want to know what makes me trust the ice? Well, it's not really about the ice at all. See, I've got my trust in something much bigger than water in frozen form. Check it. I've had to learn that it's cool to have a plan and all, but we can't possibly know everything that's going to happen. There's a story from the Bible about a guy named Joseph. He was minding his own business, engaged to a girl named Mary. He was super excited to marry her, but one day he learned that Mary was going to have a baby. Joseph was definitely not cool with that because they weren't married yet and he knew the baby wasn't his. Joseph was a solid guy and because of that, he didn't want to cause people to think badly about Mary. So he just planned to call the marriage off behind the scenes. But after Joseph had the breakup all planned out, an angel from the Lord came to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to accept Mary as your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. Wait, what? Yep, you heard that right, my people. But there's even more. The angel continued by saying, Mary will give birth to a son. You will name him Jesus. Give him that name because he will save his people from their sins. That's so cool. God did all of this to fulfill his promise that a special woman would be pregnant and give birth to his own son. When Joseph woke up, he did what the Lord's angel told him to do. Joseph married his girl Mary and became the earthly father to God's son, Jesus. Joseph did not doubt God's plan, but instead he trusted that God was at work doing something good, even though he couldn't see it right then. And Joseph's friendship with God grew as he trusted him. I don't know about you, but after hearing that story, I realized that God has a plan for every single person. And because of that, I know I can trust him in everything. So whether it's something super cool like ice climbing or something a little harder like having a hard time with my friends, I know that I can trust God. Thanks, Jack. You always know how to put things into perspective so that we can all understand more about who God really is and grow our friendship with him. Seeing how God has a plan for all of us really helps me to trust him completely. That Bible story also made me think of a super fun game we could all play. We all know that there are lots of fun things to do and see out in nature. So I was thinking that we could play a game of clear the air. We'll see a picture of something, but it's not going to be very clear. Try to guess what you think the picture is actually showing before it completely clears up so we see what it is. Are you ready? Here we go. It's a snow angel. This snow angel reminds me of the angel from today's Bible story that came to visit Joseph in a dream and told him not to worry or be afraid because God had a plan. Ready for picture two? Here it is. penguin. That totally reminds me of the good news that the angel told Joseph. Remember, the angel told Joseph that Mary was pregnant, but not just with any baby. Mary was pregnant with God's own son, Jesus. That was crazy cool. 
Okay, I have one last picture for you guys. This one is kind of tricky, but it's good. Let's see it now. That one is an owl. It's kind of hard to see, or as we outdoorsy people would say, he's camouflaged. I chose that picture because it's a really great reminder for our story today. Remember, Joseph couldn't see how everything was turning out for him and Mary. But in the end, Joseph chose to trust God. And that's what trust in God really is. It's believing that he has a good plan, even when we can't see it. Before we go today, let's pray and remember that God is a good father and that he loves us so much. Everyone, bow your heads, close your eyes, and let's all talk to God together. Dear God, thank you for always having a plan for each and every one of us. I am so thankful that no matter what, we can trust that you love us and have a good plan for us. This week, I pray that you are able to give us even more trust in you. We love you. Amen. Today has been so much fun. And I hope you guys will come back next week to spend more time with us. Bye! <laughs>